Joining us now to lend his perspective on the threat ISIS poses is Congressman Bradley Murray. Thank you for joining us tonight, uh, Congressman. Now, let's go ahead and get right to it. You've gone on record supporting an amendment to arm and train Syrian rebels. What makes you think this might work this time around? Well, you can't look at any one of these things in isolation. Arming and training the rebels is one part of it. These missile and other strikes are another part of it. Working with the Kurds, working with the Iraqi army, very importantly, working with these other Sunni Muslim countries in that region to deliver a coalition attack. The, the president just said it. This is going to take time. And you're going to see these sorts of attacks and other types of attacks for a long period of time as we degrade and move, uh, I think, very expeditiously over that period of time to defeat this enemy. And it's going to take a lot more than what you've seen now, but I think this is a good start. Uh, Congressman, uh, at what point is, in this conflict would you support the option of using and putting boots on the ground from the U.S.? Well, Mel, in one way of looking at this, we already have boots on the ground there. We've committed a number of forces. The question is, what role will they play? I think we need to make sure that we're not playing some major combat role. That is, boots on the ground are actually engaged in direct combat, unless they're there as a sort of a, 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 a function of helping other boots on the ground from Muslim forces in that region. So I think you're going to see some more boots on the ground that will be doing things kind of like that from the U.S., but I don't think you're going to see a major commitment of America combat forces, and I don't think that's what's necessary here. I think we need to have regional forces in there to take care of this job. Tell us, what does victory look like in this situation? Well, it's hard to say right now because this is going to develop over a very long period of time. It would be my guess that what's going to happen is, is we're going to have more and more people come into this conflict on our side. And as that happens, what we hope to do is to squeeze this group and its geographic control from the east and from the west and squeeze them into a, a more manageable area. Right now, they control the entire landmass between Damascus and Baghdad. 20 million Sunni Muslims without a state who look at ISIL and say, well, that looks pretty good. So this is going to take some time to do it, but I think we're actually headed in the right direction, and it looks like we're having a lot of international help to do it, and that's a good thing. Thank you. And finally, Congressman, you're joining us tonight from the Alabama Cruise Terminal, where the Alabama Department of Transportation is hosting a public input meeting regarding a bridge over the Mobile River. You've supported this project from the beginning. Everyone wants to know, where's the money coming from? How likely is a toll bridge? <laughs> Well, I don't know. The decision about whether or not it's going to be a toll bridge, is that's up to the governor. That's not my decision. 80% uh, of the cost of this project will be from the federal government, will be from the federal highway program. That's my job is to make sure we keep that moving. The state's going to have to come up with 20%. And I think what the governor is considering is coming up with a toll in order to pay the state's 20%. But we're a long way down the road from making final decisions about that. I talked with the Secretary of Transportation last week. He's coming down here to look at the project, talk some more with us about it. And it's going to take us some time to work through this, but I'm confident we'll come with a plan that will get this bridge built as quickly as we possibly can. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Congressman Bradley Byrne. Again, the meeting tonight goes on until 8 at the Alabama Cruise Terminal in downtown Mobile. A second meeting is next week at Five Rivers Delta Resource Center in Spanish.